This is not something just important like... is that not one person should be targeted for this. Like it, it is, you know, it is a group decision, and it is. you know, it's not fair for one person to get targeted out of anyone. Agreed. And it is, it is what it is. It's not like it's a bad situation, no matter what way you look at it. But yeah, hopefully I... people can understand like why the trigger was pulled. Yeah, where I was going with that was like, um. I need you guys to understand this. this is a decision made by all of us, not just me. A lot of people seem to think since I'm like the IGL or leader of the team that I control all of the decisions. And that's just like not how it works, especially when you're on an organization. Everything has to go through them as well. So it's not like that's not just how it was. And then just to, just to add to that, I need you to put yourself in my shoes and be understanding of the fact that like we did really good in the championship. Then we did really good in the Scars tournament. And I had pretty much a lose-lose situation put in front of me, however you'd like to see it. You, I guess you could say win-win, but I definitely view it as lose-lose because no matter what, I look like an idiot, or we look like an idiot, or we look stupid. Like It's just a lose-lose scenario. It's like we drop or move on from Noct, we, we drop rock, Noct, we cut Noct, however you want to word it, and pick up Alb, or we say no to Alb Lely and keep playing with Noct. Now, if word got out that we said no to Alb, we would definitely get flamed for that. It, it's and, equal flack, regardless. Yeah, of which, yeah, which it's decision. equal flack either way. It's a lose lose scenario for us. That's why me and Naughty have been completely okay with putting up with the hate. Like, while it sucks, like it's a lose lose scenario. Like either way, we were gonna get flack. We understand that. And then on top of that, a, a really big factor in the decision. I'm not gonna go into all of it because that's just not needed, but a really big decision in it was when you get involved in like professional sports or esports or whatever it may be, when you're at the top of the line of what you do for a living, whether it's like you do cryptocurrencies or whatever it is, like your roster, like your hedge fund, whatever it may be, like you want your ceiling Thank you, Thank of you. your team, whether it's esports or normal sports, whatever it be, you want your ceiling to be as high as possible. Because at the end of the day, you can always keep working and work harder to get to the, your your peak, you know, your cap. Uh, we felt like our ceiling of our team increases um, with Albert Lely on the team over Noct. Now, obviously, this is a really There's, hard decision to make. It's not. It's not fair. No, another really thing that's really favorite. important. Another thing that's really important is that let's say like if this change happens, if it happens now, it gives Noct three months. It gives him a lot of time, and there's a lot of free agents right now. Gives him a lot of time to find another roster to compete under. Whereas if this change happened three months I'm from like, now when ALGS has started, he would have his no chances of finding a team is slim to none while yeah. the ALGS season has started. <laughs> yeah, like right now the best, this is like the best free agent pool we've ever had. So it would be really bad to just wait longer. There's a lot of orgs. Yeah, a lot of words. So it's the highest percent chance to find. Can I ask what the team not. characters will be? We'll all get that question, so I'm answer up. Team characters, we have no fucking idea. The only thing that we're certain of is that the meta right now is going to change by the yeah, next you, you LGS. Can't know right now. You can't so, know right now. yeah. Right now, but it's that, literally just playing to play to like get good team chemistry. I mean, the one thing and, you can say is it won't be naughty on Gibby. The, yeah, the, not the, oh, hell be on, nah. yeah. Not won't be on Gibby. It'll, it'll Al, be your why is that Al even has like, Al it's Al whichever, has like a whichever really one of huge flexibility. So yeah, yeah. It, it's really gonna come down to like whichever one of us decides to IGL well, will not be on Gibby. It's it's gonna what it's gonna come down to is what the fuck the meta is because yeah, like we have two patches before the next LGS, I think. Yeah, we have the one on the. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Pause, pause, pause! My ads just hit, so I'm either about to farm subs. <laughs> or we have to wait. What the two. fuck? Other questions or what? So now who will I G L Zach or Mac? Um, we That's don't we know and out. we don't really care. It's it's one of those situations where we haven't figured it out. I I can confidently say it would, that it, my it would be a mistake to have a it would be a mistake to make a decision right now. There's yeah, no reason like, to make a decision. I confidently say my I G L is like really reckless, but it's proven to work. Yeah. It's also proven to not work. And Max I G L is the exact opposite. It's much safer. And it's proven to work and not work. So it's going to be one of those things where we both have to feel it out. Um, Mac is going to have to get used to like playing with me and Naughty. It's a very different style than we he's have played options. with for the past like year and a half. Exactly. Yeah, there's going to be we a lot options, of limit testing. But, yeah, we have options, but it'd be a mistake to tell you exactly what we're going with now because uh, we're going to be we test, have no idea. testing different things. It'd be a mistake to just be like, oh yeah, we're doing this and that's it. Yeah. Like, we're going we're gonna to figure out what is best 
between the options. For the 10 though, months, yeah. and Alex is great with the seven. Appreciate it. Damn, bro, you got clout. Wow. How does TL feel about this? I mean, to be honest, I don't know, but I mean, I'd imagine they're not Brandon happy. Gets it. But... Brandon gets it because like our IGL styles just clashed a lot. I mean, like people could see that in tournaments. We we just clash. I think it's good if they can find someone that's like passive, like they are, and someone that can just question. listen to Brandon. This is a good question. Mac made a post about 10 days ago or something like that about his competitive drive being completely gone. What has changed since then to make him join your team? Um, honestly, so the past the easy. past like week and a half, two weeks has been like really good for my mental. I've just been like taking it easy, relaxing, playing Valorant, playing single player games, and I feel like I'm in like a mental state where I like want to compete again because I've realized. Honestly, so, playing a ton of single player games, I've realized that like I'm too competitive to just like not do it. Like I'm just bored without competing. So I feel like I need to get back into it as soon as possible rather than later. So chat asks, when is the first tournament that they'll see us play together? I don't even know. I definitely not Saturday. I didn't know that attorney wasn't like all. I don't know, but one thing I want to make clear is that don't expect the team to win every single tournament, the first three Either, tournaments. Yeah. Like, there's going to be practice and growing pains and testing and, you know, different comps, potentially. We could obviously like play guys... rank to alleviate a little bit of that, like, yeah. just to get fighting down, um, really. That's all you can do is get fighting people down. People need to remember that NA does not scrim, so there's no way to practice outside of, like, small 10k tournaments. I think about, like, the NRG situation. Like, look, look at NRG. They're probably the most dominant team in all of NA as of right now, because you can't disagree with that. When they started, they were really um, bad. And, and they had like four months of like being horrible, whatever the fuck it was. They had like four months of being horrible. And not, then they not like completely it awful, but like they definitely were not doing well. They are horrible compared to what they are now. I'll oh, yeah. Anyone is horrible compared to what energy is right now. What nice, is, bro. What does unofficially joining C9 mean? It's the same thing I did with Liquid, where I'm not leaving TSM. TSM is my home organization, but I'm competing with Cloud9's roster. Yeah, my chat wants to make a clip, so they're they're asking about how this was all like a mutual or not like because with knocked it wasn't like a hundred percent mutual, you know, like he's like you know, he, yeah. he said he got dropped and stuff like that. He he sort of like, like saw between, the future and like just felt like it was gonna happen, you know? Yeah, I, but like I, between I, all of us, out, you know, like it wasn't DVD just like talk about it more than well. anyone. Yeah, I, I had I was the one that talked to knocked and like I just got done talking to this with my chat and and basically like it's just such a, a hard situation because when we first approached Noct, we approached him with the, the idea of that we wanted to have a discussion about, you know, the change because the option was available and we wanted to talk to him about it and like figure out the best way to go about it because we could have like not said anything to him and only talked to Alvin, only talked to Cloud9 and then like three weeks from now I've been like, okay, you're gone. And then he would have just, just been completely blindsided. But I think the way we went about it was the best for the scenario and get and making sure the process was rushed within like what was it like two three days or something it was like within like, it was within like 48 hours days. everything was done it was like within there, 60 hours everything had yeah. started and ended and the reason that happened is yeah. because we wanted to give knock the best opportunity to knock potentially find that. it well us knock two wanted. and him but yeah he didn't want to like wait around for three weeks for like a tryout and then potentially you know, just be kicked anyways. You know, he wanted to just move on and see if he could find another team as quick as possible. Yeah, because, like, the last thing you want is to, like, wait three months and then, like, you know, the next day LGS season starts up and he still doesn't have a team, right? Yep. So. Um, someone asked another question. Just asking again, Zach, are you concerned that Mac will leave comp in a couple of months? And uh, I've thought about this. I'm not going to lie to you. Cloud9 actually brought that to me as well. And one of the reasons I'm not really worried about it is because, in my opinion, like, Alb isn't a moron. Now, obviously, I'll speak for myself as well. We care about our health. We care about our mental health. We care about all that. It's very important. But Alb also isn't a moron. Like, if Alb were to not join us right now, let's say none of this ever happened, like, he would still probably get back into comp within the next, like, like three to, like, six months because it's, it's not a secret. Lands are coming back to the game. The money is going to come back to the game. The reason for playing, the friendships, the lands, the real practice, all of that is coming back to the game. And that that's really what ignites that passion to play. That really is the reason you play, is to like go to Poland and do shit like that. And, and that's why it's a big difference for um, uh, Max Mental Health. I won't necessarily speak for him, but I can confidently say that that is a, a huge, huge, huge difference maker. Yeah, knowing that I can go to LAN is like the... Um... 
the driving like factor kicker. in me like, competing. He doesn't have he doesn't have two years ahead of him or one yeah or like is like two years ahead of him of just sitting in his fucking room playing OTs. Yeah, like it makes a big difference. Yeah, because like literally my whole reasoning in going pro and wanting to go pro is to compete on stage. And when that was taken away because of COVID, I lost a lot of motivation. You saw it because, you know, I left, I left PSM. Like I left like the God roster, right? That just shows you how like how little motivation I had left. And then, you know, I left, I left Liquid and now I'm back because I know that stuff's coming up. So um, Another thing that yeah, we haven't yeah. talked about was... um. Uh, like vibes and like meshing. Um, that sounds awesome. Like me and Naughty, for anyone that like watched us like um, stream the championship VOD or whatever, maybe I could actually bring it up if I cared enough. But me and Naughty are like both like super active. Um, we calm a lot. We're like very vocal with everything. Our our vibes are everything. Like if me and Naughty are down, we will place like 15th. If me and Naughty are up, we'll place like top two. And that's a that's a really big deal for us. So it was really important to like to find someone like Alb who is on that like say wavelength that like can help keep the vibes high and understands that we have our lows. And um that was just not something that the old roster was good at. Like when we had our lows, like not me, not naughty, not knock, none of us were able to bring them up. They were very, very, very low lows in the comms when they were bad. And that's why you saw days like the 13 point day one. Because our lows were really fucking low because no one could pull us out of the lows. Yeah, I'll be able and to pull us out of the that's a problem, anything. right? That's not something good. So that was another um, small factor. And on the topic <laughs> of um, the whole like liquid situation, because I know some people are curious like whether or not I plan yeah, to leave attention. liquid after. Yeah, people are curious on whether or not I plan to leave Liquid after, uh, after Champs. I talked to the boys about a month before Champs, so they weren't blindsided by this, um, about how I was going to take an extended break, and that I didn't feel that it would be right for them to hold my spot on the roster. I didn't know when I was going to come back. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and I, you know, they, they knew everything, really. They weren't blindsided by this at all. So I made it really clear to them about what was going on. Um, and then after champs, I decided, you know, take my two weeks or, you know, still continue my break. And now I'm just back with C9. It's not as long of a break as I thought it was going to be. I'm probably I mean, the, a, the break, break isn't even weeks, over. The break yeah. isn't ending. That's yeah. the thing. The break's, the break's, the break's not even team. done. Like, yeah. It's just a team change. Well, I didn't think is, I'd yeah. come back as soon as I did, is what I'm saying, really. Yeah. it's The only reason this has been rushed is because... we of the knock situation like knock yeah. had to step down and he, he want we wanted to give him enough time to be able to find another team or else this could have happened like three months from now yeah before the ALGS tournament this is the best team that knock could join i'd really like to see not join complexity ssg or play with fawn and clarify <laughs> all right this is no, an important question important, so important question important nice question man. is zach's hair gonna regrow now that he's less stressed with you on the roster no, oh, bro. Yes. It's it's anything. It's more He's already stress got a bullet. because if anything, it's more stress because it's like now we have a lot of pressure to perform. Yeah. And the stress of this announcement has been annoying because we're all three on different sleep schedules. The stress of like the past like three days, like putting everything together and making it official, has been absolutely fucking brain dead. Like it's just been a fucking stressful situation. I'll be surprised if I have hair by the end of this week. Alb, in the past two and a half years of Apex, you've only competed for two teams, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, actually, so before I joined TSM, I was on a small org, and I competed with their roster, but it was fucking bad. Uh, that was like kill, kill race tournaments, right? No, no, we, we would do scrims, and we were the only... We, dude, we were ahead of our time, let me tell you. We, <laughs> we were running a Wraithless comp back in the day. We ran Pathfinder, was that, was Gibby... That kind of team? No, we <laughs> we were at fucking Pathfinder Gibby Watson. That shit was cracked. <laughs> Jesus. I remember Rocker and Nate and Lou did that too. I'm pretty sure. Hey, yo, Path Meta comes back. We got the best path in the game too, baby. Yeah, true. Yeah. And I don't mind playing him. Nah, fuck you. It might <laughs> oh, be hell no. The Maser oh, my grapple? God, this man in the throwback tournament? It's, Holy it's fuck, it's so It's bad. you and Lou, it's and I'm not, I'm not picking one or the other. Collab down. So on why that. you say you're taking a like break like fucking Click right? Clan gonna fucking pull up, bro? Well, I mean, yeah. see fucking... so hear me out. 
when I say I'm taking a break from my mental, um, that's just because there's a lot of outside factors that do stress me out. And I think Zach and Naughty understand that. Otherwise, they wouldn't have picked me up. Um, that being said, I think that I can, I can manage it uh, to an extent, depending on whether or not... This is going to sound like I'm bashing my old teammates. There's no way for me to like put it other than this. If I have teammates that I am constantly around in and out of game, um, I feel like it makes it a little bit more manageable. Um, like, it's no, like, it's no secret that on the TSM roster, uh, we never really, like, played stuff besides Apex together, and even then, most of the time I would play alone or play with other people in rank. So, I mean, having people that I, I know that I'm going to be around a lot, uh, will bring up my mental. Um, I might move to Texas to be in a like team environment, like be around these guys IRL. So I think there's there's a lot of factors um, that are gonna be added with this roster. I think I'm gonna be moving. So there's, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna run into any problems with this roster at all. Because these guys are, are people that I have played with a lot in the past, both on and off stream and across different games. I get along with them incredibly well, and I'm just really confident that nothing is going to go wrong with this roster. I just sure, some people yeah, might not I, even, I some people might not even know that you were like, on the you, roster. You worded it perfectly, dude. You worded it perfectly. Just because Arbolele is a mechanical upgrade with more tournament wins doesn't mean he'd be better on C9 than the previous teammate. It's way more about team synergy and individual skill. C9 literally threw away a guaranteed tier 1 team in return for something that's just potential right now. They literally got first points in champs and the green flags couldn't be any greener. I, I completely agree with you, and what you said is exactly right. And that's the point of uh, of the swap. Is it's it, it's a high risk, high reward situation. It, it's really gonna suck if we're bad, which is uh, fucking impossible. Let me just be straightforward with you. But the the cap of this team is higher than the cap of that team, and I'd rather be the best in the world instead of a good team in the world. And I'm not saying that wasn't possible with Knock, but it's much more possible with this roster. In our opinions someone so asked like, me to give this completely right up. here's this just a straight up question are there any pros that al brings to the table that the team was lacking before vibes just like comms question. vibes and comms uh flexibility yeah. vibes comms flexibility he brings more yeah. into the table than i do and i will experience i will literally put, i can literally play any character in the game any character you and put me on it and i will play it at the top level and land experience and yeah a lot yeah a the lot, experience lot. is definitely uh very important what are we doing? Are we wrapping this up? Is that what we're doing right now? I'm muted for a sec. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're chilling now.